the most developed sensory organ in our body. Millions of people get blind as a result of one disease called glaucoma. It is a leading cause of uh, reversible blindness. The World Glaucoma Week is uh, marked to raise awareness on the severity of this disease through a series of engaging worldwide activities. Patients, eye care providers, health officials are expected to contribute to site preservation and to alert everyone on the need to have regular eye checks in order to detect glaucoma as early as possible. So this is the focus of our discussion next. Joining me on Zoom to uh, discuss this is an optometrist, Dr. Oluchi K. Ukoha. Uh, it's nice to have you join me, Oluchi. Now, they, let's talk about this issue of glaucoma. Thank that, you very much. Thank you. A lot of people don't have an understanding of what could lead to glaucoma. C can you draw attention to some of the preventions and what glaucoma is or is not? So glaucoma is a combination of diseases. It can happen to people, small prominent people at, um, that are older than 40 years and above. So it starts from the back of the eyes because there's a point in our eyes where all the nerves converge and go to the brain. It's called the optic nerve. So um, it has a natural halo, a deepening that occurs. But as we grow, as the uh, pressure builds up in the eyes, that deepening becomes deeper. It forms like something is excavating. And as it's deepening, it's stretching the blood vessels. As these blood vessels stretch, they thin out and they die off. And any point that is then destroyed, vision is lost at that area. So there's a natural fluid that goes through the eyes to maintain, help the eyes maintain its positive nature. And you know, in the course of that fluid moving around the eyes, the channels most times can become small and then thereby building pressure in the eyes. Just imagine inflating a balloon when you're blowing air into a balloon and it's stretching at the bottom part. The more it stretches, the thinner that place becomes and then the more white tissue occurs. Same thing happens in the eyes. These blood vessels start stretching and some of them get destroyed and vision is lost. And glaucoma is one of the major causes of irreversible blindness. For now, there's no cure, there's only treatment. So how can we prevent it? Early detection, once it is detected on time, it can be properly um, managed and monitored. So it, vision is not further lost. It can also occur when there's trauma to the eyes. You know, when in case accidents or something hit your eyes, you have to also continually check your eyes. Then sometimes it is heavy detri. If it has been diagnosed in any family, it has been diagnosed in, in your in your family, it's heavy detri. So every member of the family should always check. Then furthermore, to add to it, you know, glaucoma can also occur, according to research, it happens to blacks more. So we encourage everybody from the time your child is giving birth to, to the point, at any point in their life, you should check your eyes. And once you've been diagnosed of glaucoma, you should go for routine eye examination every month. You should make it monthly. You shouldn't wait till you feel pain in the eyes. Now, glaucoma for now has no symptom. There's only one type of fit that comes with severe pain, which is called the acute angle closure. It's only one part of it that comes with severe pain and severe redness. If not, the other types of glaucoma has no symptom. So you might not know until your vision is lost. It is believed that when we are looking straight ahead, you should see things at the temporal parts, the sides up and down. But most times we only complain when we have issues with what we see in front of us, what we see ahead of us. So vision and um, glaucoma start taking vision from the temporal part, tilling it, you won't notice until your left is what we call tunnel vision. That's why we advise everyone to have their eyes tested at any point in time. Then other right. things that can predispose one to glaucoma is diabetes, hypertension. If you're diabetic, you should check your eyes. If you're hypertensive, you should also have your eyes checked by the optometrist. All right, uh, it is good to learn all of those areas. Now, let's talk about how to care for the eye because a lot of people don't understand how delicate the eye is when it comes to exposure to dust or sun rays or heat and all of that. Talk to us about this. The parents, you don't need to be highly educated to do this. You can meet the eye care professional in the place where you give birth to check the eyes if there's any abnormality. Then from three years, there should be screening. You should go to the optometrist to have your eyes screened. 
then from six years, a full eye examination should be done. And then ahead of that, the older the child gets, at least twice a year, we should check our eyes. Now, most times, because of the kind of climate we have in West Africa, you know, the weather can get dry, dusty, um, sunny. So most times we experience what we call sandy sensation. You feel as if there's sand in your eyes. Instead of rubbing your eyes, you could get wipes or you can get a clean cloth. Dip it in clean, cool water, and then you just place on your eyes for 15 seconds instead right. of rubbing. Because when you rub, you transfer germs from the hands to the eyes. Okay. And as well, we have to also, when you are going outdoor, you use protective lenses. There are different types of protective lenses we use. When you're working on your screens, we have to, let's say we are going to sleep by one hour before bedtime, we should be done with our screens. And then when you're using screens, you should use protective lenses as well. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Oluchi Keokoha, for all the insight in here. Uh, we, we certainly look forward to a better days for all the eyesight we have around. Thank you.